Hey y'all, this is Deb. <laughs> yeah. I have been busy. I haven't been in my A, but I've been busy. Yeah, I guess I have been in my A, because not only have I not been uploading videos, I really haven't had an opportunity to watch a lot of videos. Yeah, if you want to know what's going on with me, please keep watching. Yes, life will interrupt YouTube. I've been trying to keep up with you guys. I've been trying to stay active on them. It's all about the girls' Facebook group. I've kind of been in and out on Instagram. I have been busy. Work has bumped it up a notch. And I've been working out. I've been meaning to come on camera and share with you guys about my fitness journey, I will call it. Uh, I've lost weight and um, I decided to see a nutritionist after I went to two doctors in the same week and both doctors told me that I needed to lose some weight. Now my OBGYN, I have a very, very, very good relationship with him and when he told me, I was like, well you need to send me to a nutritionist and he did. He recommended a nutritionist right before Thanksgiving. And I started this journey on to a healthy eating and lifestyle and if you all are interested in knowing what I did let me know so far I've lost almost 20 pounds but I've lost more inches than anything if they tell you that inches are important if you've ever heard that phrase believe it I've lost at the last measurement over 35 inches and what does that relate to in pounds? It relates to me losing almost 30 pounds. I've lost about 20, but the inches that I've lost, can it's equivalent to seven pounds. So the nutritionist told me, and if you don't believe me, I'm gonna put a picture right there. That's the picture that I took when she did my last measurements and stuff no. like that. It was a really, 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 really intense program because the first phase was the detox phase. and. It was just a lot going on. And then the second phase is when she started introducing different type of lean meats that I could eat. But also I had to start working out. Yeah, I could say I lived a sedentary lifestyle. And working out was a shock to my body. So I started slow. I got with a trainer on my job. And um, I'm working out four to five days a week. Uh, they my nutritionist wants me to work out the young lady i still call her my nutritionist because she's still there supporting me and coaching me she wants me to bump it up to six days a week i have a problem with working out on mondays i don't know what it is i just can't get it in but i usually go tuesday through friday and i do get in on saturday so i'm working in about four to five times a week and when i get home i'm exhausted now i had dedicated Sundays to do record my videos and y'all I have so many videos that I've recorded that I just really haven't had time to edit and upload and I just can't upload them because they're way too long I do a lot of editing out because sometimes I tend to ramble and I would like to be able to just upload what I record but that would just be just too long and I don't know if you all noticed it but I have a tendency to repeat myself so I have a lot of repeating and a lot of the word so so that's why I do the editing so what I will promise you is that I still have a lot I want to share and um, I'll try to at least get a, one video a week until I get all acclimated to this working out like today is Sunday I need to be in there prepping my food for the week so I don't have time during the week to prep my food because I eat six times a day I mean lunch. breakfast snack lunch snack dinner snack and I'm drinking 96 ounces of water. So, it's a good thing. So, let's talk about hair. So, yeah, I have a twist out. I was protected all week. Um, last week, I'll show you the picture right here. This is the style that I wore last week. I mostly wore my uh, bangs twisted. And then, since I was going to a women's conference, I took the twist out at night and twist it back up when I got home. This is a result of a twist out and the butter that I use to do this twist out is the Basque, I don't know, 
I'm, it escapes my mind, but I'll put the name of it right here. That's what I use to do this twist out, and as you all can tell, I cut my hair. Yeah, I did. I was feeling some kind of way. I don't know if you can see this, but this is where it was. My hair was down to here. I cut about four inches off. Basically, what I did is cut off the color. And um, what I wanted to do is I, I did a trim. I blew my hair out, and I shared those pictures. on. It's all about the curls. Y'all, I'm a little more interactive over there. I'm sorry, it's just easier. And I post a picture of this was my blowout and I needed to trim my ends. My hair was feeling crazy and I figured out what it was. So I cut my hair stretched and I thought it was even. And I knew it wasn't even. I knew that I wanted to cut a little, a little more off of the back than the front, but when it was blown out, I, didn't, I couldn't tell the difference. So this is my hair twisted right here. And looked okay but it was a funny kind of look to me because that was hair that was twisted on my hair that was blown out that was a twist out on blown blown out hair so I decided to do a cold wash because my hair felt a little dry and that's when I noticed that the front stopped here and the back stopped there so I just politely just cut it off and, and the reason why I cut so much off the back is because my back grows so much faster then, I mean, this right here, by two, three months, it'll be back. And I just kind of like the shape. I like the shape. I like the fullness. It looks so much healthier. I had to get those colored ends off. I will not be coloring my hair anymore. I will be using semi-permanent color to, you know, until all of my gray decides it wants to come in uh, in some kind of evenly fashion. Y'all, I'm liking this twist out, but I'm going to retwist it tonight. I'm probably going to use the uh, styling frosting by Coolie Head Chick and I'm going to wear my hair twisted all week long and I'll probably do scarves or whatever and I'll try to record that because I did get a request to show how I do my scarves. I'm working out and my moisture level is just depleting from my hair. I don't know if any of you all work out. I've been watching your videos and you're doing water rinses and apple cider vinegar rinses. But I'm having some moisture retention issues and it's showing up in my hair and I can't rush through my regimen. I have got to do it once a week and take my time and open up my cuticles because I have low porosity and do the whole nine yards but in the middle I'm gonna have to co-wash them have to figure that out because I don't have time so see I'm rambling see this is why I can't get a video up. so that's what's going on with me I have recorded some videos I did a video about the uh, influencer box that I got for Valentine's Day it's just sitting there halfway edited I did a tag video I've, 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 done several videos I'm trying to pop them in so you all can see them I just haven't had time to tag them or pull out the bloopers or the mistakes or whatever so I'm gonna work really really hard and make a conscientious effort to get this up hopefully no later than tomorrow this is Sunday and uh, I'm gonna do better y'all I promise I'm not going to abandon my channel so please be patient with me but I will definitely be back Thursday because that is the day of our protective style challenge that's the day the first day of spring and the last day of our protective style challenge don't check in before i do ladies i'm not gonna have you do much but it's something that i do want you to do because i have something else that i will add on to this protective style challenge it's a surprise so you guys can wait and see not additional time just something that i want to do something that I want to do. So if you have any tips on me keeping my hair hydrated while I'm working out, please let me know. Um, the hair is hot when it's out. But y'all, do you like my hair? I'm loving it. Oh my God, I'm loving it. I cut so much and uh, I tried to leave the front a little bit longer because it shrinks so. And then like I said, the back, I cut so much. I just don't even know if you can tell. But it doesn't shrink as much as the front. This was a fluke. I promise you, I do not know what I'm doing with cutting, but I was really I wanted to do a second big chop, but I want a style cut in my hair. So for now, this is what I'm going to do until I figure out how to maintain my hair and work out. I'm so, loving this hair and um, like I said, I hope you enjoy snippets of the videos that I've done and I am going to do better. I'm going to try to get up I promise one video a week, but this week it'll be two, and I'll try to make it maybe two a week. 
and uh, until I can get back on some kind of schedule. Let me cut this off. I'm rambling. Thank y'all for watching. Bye-bye.